Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim dear viewers today we will see formwork design in prota structure 2022 this is new feature in latest update of prota structure 2022 so let's see open the program i will open a simple project This is three storied villa we have designed in prototype structure previously. The tutorial is available in our channel. You will get the link for the tutorial in the description below this video. Okay. Now if we want to go for formwork design for beam, column, slab, we can do that very easily in prototype structure 2022 make sure that you have got the latest update 6.0.512 in this update this new feature has been added along with the structural design we have to do the formwork design also this formwork design has been made very easy by prota so now go for the formwork design first i can go for column formwork design here i have selected the column here also we are getting the option for formwork design or if we go for right click here we will get formwork design click on this here according to the size of the column the formwork has been generated automatically here joist size 50 by 100 50 millimeter by 100 millimeter stringer 50 by 100 brace this one pipe 160 millimeter by 3 millimeter joist is as space from the edge if we want to provide space we can provide that one for example 100 millimeter from the edge the distance will be shown here stringer is space from this top side for example 50 millimeter like this concrete temperature if it is ready mix then there will be a specified temperature mentioned by the supplier pouring speed will, al will also be available in the specification from the supplier I am considering same as it is so according to the temperature and the speed the pressure is coming automatically calculated by prota top elevation automatically considered from the model 4.3 meter or 4300 millimeter coefficient of suction 1.6 we can change this one according to the wind load calculation and wind pressure we will provide from the wind load calculation i am providing here 0 0.75 kN per meter square now we can go for beam form work according to the beam size automatically the required form work has been generated now this support bottom beam joist orientation this we can change if we want to make it parallel to beam axis like this if it is perpendicular to beam axis then it will look like this so any one of them we can choose we can generate report also from here click on ok here we can see the wall loading here if we want to remove wall loading from the display we can go to display here we can turn off the partition wall load layer like this in this way then we can select the slab and go for formwork design here for the slab formwork has been generated according to the requirement automatically it will provide the required number of 
shore and other things we can check the report from here like this click on ok for this one for this cantilever portion we can see the formwork support like this ok click on ok so in this way we can design the formwork for the structural members in proto structure we can design scaffolding also in proto structure suite for scaffolding design we have to go to proto details go to start by creating a new drawing then go to design library from here go to still facade scaffold here we can provide number of base 1 2 3 4 number of stories 1 2 3 if we increase the story number like 4 story height 3 meter width of the walkway this one on the scaffold we can provide 1 meter bay length here to here we can we can provide 2.8 meter if we want to see galvanized view we can click on this ok Anchor capacity we have to provide according to the steel grade will be used in the scaffold. Okay, then we will go for analysis. Then from here we can generate detailed drawing like this. Okay, so in this way we can design scaffolding also in proto details so thanks for watching stay tuned for more upcoming important tutorials